and it's it's really cool too. It, it makes way more sense, like if you think about the lore of sniper, right? Well, of course, you, you're you replacing can't. slacks to being the lore expert. Yeah, well, here. you know, you're a sniper. You're supposed to be able to like deal more damage, but not move too much. Oh, Nisha overstepped himself. He actually got in tower range, got tornado EMP'd, and 4DR does manage to get the first blood. A big pickup for him and the rest of SG Esports. That was a uncharacteristic mistake for Nisha. So a fairy fire and then stick later to survive. You know, it's not too late, Tavo. You can become the support and just let the local yeah. core play the, play the core position in this spot because he's just having to give up a lot of CS right now. They do have Sentry down, so Tavo is not safe, but they are going to be able to get the combo. Puppy is going to die. And Tavo, I think, is, is happy with that. I think yeah. he wanted to trade because he couldn't play the lane any longer. Yeah, it's always nice to die as an off gang. And even that burn pick up early ensures that Costa Vili was able to stay bottom fully healed up, which is very key. Otherwise, he would have had to go heal himself. Is he going for the stats build on the gyrocopter? Uh, yeah, I believe he is. Yeah, because I saw at least the crystals being built up. The Elecor, he's going to go down, but the tornado. All right, here we go. 40 yard to the rescue. We're going to be able to kill Matumba Man. They're actually going to be able to stop the stomp as well. Tavo nicely done getting in front of Matumba Man. He managed to cut through. Fortunately, the earn the last shot there from Adriano does manage to bring him down. Puppy hidden away in the trees will teleport out. Mid lane's going to be pressured, though, as Yapsor does have a little shredder. Tell Nisha put in the damage. Spot him on the side, though. 4DR is going to be able to maybe collect another one here. Yapsor is going to hop down to low ground here. If he hits the tornado, Follows up with the MP, it's going to be a kill. And that just gets him even more earned charges. The Elecor taking so much damage from Nisha, who does probably have... No, he doesn't have his ultimate. He just went for all the levels. But I do think Matsu, you can see, already treads in a quarter of the way to the Aghanims. Like, he'll have a pretty high game impact. That's the big time for Secret to start getting active. They're just going to throw their bodies at SG, and Nisha's going to do damage inside. TV coming in behind them, got to be careful. Trying to deal with the rocket real quickly and then pump the damage into Costa Bile with the cookie. They're going to keep him chain stunned very nicely. Theo Lacour trying to juke backwards here. 40R is just surrounded, wow. but a big triple stun coming out and a relocate away. Nice tornado as well that's going to allow Theo Lacour to maybe get away until Nisha's on the other side with a mask of madness. And that damage, whoo, boy. If he pops his uh, take aim or whatever, and then he pops a Mask of Madness and their corrosive haze. Yeah. Like, holy I, crap. I want to run that back just so you can see what Zai did. He wasn't even going for the gyro, right? He just popped his amp and then ran around because he saw the Invoker TPing in. And, okay, Great catch. He should have just dead. How yeah. did that happen? Tavo TP'd in, led the charge. He just got the burrow strike from the trees, and 40R was able to follow that up pretty nicely. They're going to get a second kill here on the puppy because they've got the. <laughs> Yes, indeed. The rings of death. Big circles laid out on the ground. That's landing zone of the Dawnbreaker. Man, somebody, I really wish there was some voice. Doing well in a smoke up, a two-man smoke that can lead into a relocate. It's always the very dangerous part of this strategy. If they get on top of the sniper, he's just dead. There's going to be a burrow strike into a relocate right on top. Swap backwards, though. 40R. Troublesome situation for him. He's not getting out of this one, but Tom Man may pay for his life, but the Mortimer's Kiss is doing so much damage that Costa Bile gets wiped out from the side. Incoming the epicenter, blink in. Nisha taking some damage, but not enough. Eventually, the Sand King runs out. That is a team wipe, Kyle. Oh. I mean, Matu just straight up throwing his body on the ground to ensure they get, like, <laughs> no real damage. They are already in. The Sun is going to scout, but I legit don't think they have time. The They're going to mass TP over. They're going to have to hit a really good tornado right now. 40R leads it out. EMP follow up. They're going to commit. They're going to go for it, but the Lacour is here. The hammer's going out. They're going to be able to get on top of the sniper. Swap back, though. Nisha getting over to the high ground. Start turning around, throwing some damage on Tavo, but they've already picked up the Aegis on to uh, uh, Thea Lacour, so he's going to be good for now. Yabzor, they need to finish him off. He's actually so damn low. Costa Bile, though, swap back in. Nice Sun Strike to be able to finish him off. Good relocate to the side here, getting King Jungles out. Thea Lacour on his second life is very dead. They're actually going to TP back in to see if they can give this IO a tether out, but I think he's a little bit too far away. KJ okay. does end up dying, but a nasty situation bailed out by SG in their fast rotation. That, 
That was sick though. Like they playing bottom, no Roche objective. You already have tier two top. So now it's time to control outpost. They've got a great war two to set up. They can make a play around it for the next 40. Careful though. You're gonna find Matumba man. Nisha gonna stay here, throwing some damage out. It's going for close to Belay, thinking maybe the support's a little bit better. And yeah, Theo Lacour, he's having a hard time dealing with this damage. They trade, but again, the Venge is still alive as the tornado goes out. Zai, they're gonna try for it. Bro strike only onto the one, so the stomp's gonna go out from Puppy, and the oh, Sand King no. gets blown up, and it looks like a swap back. They're gonna make sure the gyrocopter's not going anywhere either. Three dead on the side of SG. Again, they're getting kills, but the trade-offs just are not perfect for them and ultimately the sniper is living through it all you have to get the sniper the, the guy with the ultra kill if he doesn't die all of you will and if yeah. we run that one back you'll see zai you know he, maybe he dies but he did his job he got corrosive haze off on the giant not bad meant your math the attack range could be improved maybe a telescope later yeah on. Look you're, for 37 you're a telescope minutes. over 1200 had no more ballista. Yeah. That would have been the ultimate pickup. 40R swap back in. Big change that uh, recently happened that we don't really talk about uh, too much. But this last patch, 730, where you know this Venge came into play, it gave you damage on the swap. Uh wait, guys, wait. Uh mid. Hello, uh, hello. Nisha, what are we? Hey really? were of two minds there. They wanted to go on the IO Gyrocopter, but it looks like they left Nisha behind. The relocate is gonna take them back where they came from, which means Tavo's alone. I, uh, not I have, sure what happened. I have no idea, I just, I looked. Tumba Man for 30 seconds, so yeah, this is smart. Uh, SG, they know there are some heroes here. They wanna go for the fight. If they can get the right kind of tornado, they're gonna be able to get the relocate follow up with the uh, Dawnbreaker coming in as well. They don't have a swap to be able to bail out Nisha this time around. Everybody else is gonna leave. They do get some serious damage though between these two supports. They killed the Lacour. Tava's gonna be able to get away thanks to the Yule Scepter. Burrow strike out. 40 yard though with his fresh blink dagger is gonna be able to keep pace with these two, but he should not have Kyle. No. He should not have. That was a double damage. Zai Slardar. Gotta put some respect. The synergy. Be careful. Yeah, you gotta keep vision. This you gotta keep fast. vision. Nisha's not even hitting it yet, guys. Like, once he does, it's gonna get demolished. Tabo, can they do it again? Can they jump at the right time? No way! That looks good! A swap out, though, prevents Tabo from being able to... Oh, Ethan LaCour grabbed it! What? Nisha didn't pick it up in time. It was still on the ground. The Dawnbreaker gets there in time, stuns everybody up, snatches away the Aegis. But it's important for Costa to be able to stay alive here. Taking a lot of damage. King Jungle's looking to be able to get him out. Relocates away, but the tether was broken somehow. Costa is gonna be left behind here, and it's getting ripped apart by all this Miner's armor. And here comes Nisha Epicenter, though. Tavo intercepts with a swap away from a Tumba Man. Pulls Nisha out of danger, and Tavo will die twice in this engagement. And King Jungles, welcome back to the fight, and see you later, buddy. Gone for 50 seconds, as is the rest of his team. Okie dokie. What a... These fights are just crazy. Like, it's not optimal, but when you're this far behind, like, you, you've got to just commit. This will come in handy. Smoke. Don't think they really want to go on Avenge first. Okay, he's going to go for it anyway. Blinking forward onto him here. Follow up, Earth Strike, Sun Strike as well. But Costa Bile is getting demolished. Trying to go for the relocate up, but Sai with the timing denies a relocate away. And they make sure both the IO and the Gyrocopter die for that. Honestly, I'm not sure what SG were expecting there. He uh, used Satanic when he blinked in as well to make a move of some kind. You can't just stay on that side yeah. of the map. That's not where your base is. Yeah, they're gonna try. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, it's so hard. They just don't know where Secret are. And if you don't know where they are, how do you get on top of the sniper? And sniper's like, okay, you, you guys gotta come to me. I'm gonna start hitting the tier three. They're gonna find Puppy first. That's gonna be a nice pickoff to start things off. But Tubba Man, does he wanna swap something? Close to be like, Jesus, look at out the range of this sniper, laying in the damage. Oh. What a beautiful ultimate from Puppy as well. And it's gonna be uh, close the book on this, this game. This is just completely over. Puppy didn't even die in that fight. SGE Esports, they were keeping it even. They were keeping it even for about 15 minutes, but uh, Team Secret, they just won that one fight for Roche, even if they didn't get the Aegis either time. And 
but uh, that is enough for them to be able to dominate the rest of the game. Cool strategy from Secret. Do you think we're going to see it again, though? I think so. Um, yeah. I, I love Sniper. I've seen it successful.